on ANSYS workbench. Double click Fluent and choose geometry. Right click Mouse. Choose Import Geometry. Browse. This is a turbine design. I open it. Then double click geometry. Now I'm in space claim window. Look at the whole picture of the turbine design. We are simulating the flow. So we need to create a geometry for flow simulation. Instead of the turbine, I need to do some sketching. I choose X, Y plane as my sketching plane. See? Then I draw a circle. Diameter is 430. I draw another circle. Diameter is 500. Look at the whole view. So I need to do another sketching. I choose YZ plane as sketching plane and look at the plan view. I draw a line in along the axis of the turbine and it is length is slightly greater than the turbine's dimension in its actual direction and go to select, go to this mode. Now, I choose pool. Here, I only choose outside the rim and make it along this short line I just generated. Then, generate. After I do this, I have a new 3D volume. Okay. Then I delete this part. Why I'm generating this outside ring? I want to generate the fluid domain around the turbine, but the turbine is cut off. To do that, I click prepare volume extract and I choose select edge. Select this edge and this edge. By selecting these two edge, I'm going to generate the fluid domain between these two edge, but without turbine. Generate. Okay. After I generated this domain, I delete all other parts because we only look at the fluid when we do flow simulation. We don't need to have a turbine. I choose, this is newly generated, generated volume. I choose all the parts except this new generated volume. And then I delete. Now, if I look at the cross section, you can see this newly generated volume. It doesn't include the turbine because turbine is solid. We are simulating the flow. So this volume is hollow without inner turbine. So that is a fluid domain around the turbine or flow around the turbine. Now, I want to, I need to generate a bigger domain. Okay. In order to generate a bigger domain, I need to do some sketching. I choose this sketching tool. Then I choose XY plane. 
and uh, I choose plan view. I generate a rectangular shape. Okay. And the lens, I make it 1200 and height is 1200 and this is actually much larger than the uh, turbine then I choose this mode I choose that I move this rec uh, square shaped big box and make the turbine at its center. So in this direction, I move 600. And th this direction, I move 600. Then you see turbine is at its center. I choose select mode. Uh, next step. I want to, uh, well, I want to pull this, okay, and uh, I choose not merge. This direction, I make it twelve hundred, and I go to another side and pull. This direction, I choose not merge. This direction, I make it 1200. Okay. Now, this is the center part. This is outside part. I go to select and look at the three dimensional view. Now, I want to make the outside part hollow in the middle. So, I choose this outside part and then I choose combine. But here I choose cut, cut inside, and then I go to select. Now I check all the parts. You see, second part is actually the outside fluid, but with the hollow inside. So I delete this delete this, and this is outside flow, but center part is hollow, and this is really center part, okay? I cut, uh, I generate a two volume. The reason is in the future, the inside volume will be rotating with the turbine, and outside the fluid domain is fixed. Now, I, just want to rename this. So this is outside. I just rename it as outer. And this, I rename it as inner part. I choose file, save project. And I give it project name, I just call it turbo simulation. Save it. Now I finish the geometry. I go to mesh, double click mesh. If you look at the geometry, two parts, okay? This is the inner part, this is the outer part. Okay, if I hide the outer part, inner part looks like this. I rename it, I just call it inner. And I rename this, I call it outer. 
And if you look at the inner part, I choose one face and I hide this face. You see, you have a turbine inside. Okay. Now I show all the hidden face. And you, if you check the connections, you, this is a connection the, between inner part or outer part. So this is interface. Uh, if you don't have this interface between two parts, then uh, you have some problem with the geometry. You have two C days. Okay. And the, I show the outer part. I look at the whole view. Yeah. I need to define the boundary. So this is for choosing surface. I choose this surface. So create named selection. This should be the inlet of wind. And this side is outlet of wind. And this side, if you want to choose multiple face, you hold the control K of your K bot. And this four face is, I, I just call it side uh, boundaries. Okay. And then you see name selection, you have inlet, outlet, and side boundaries. And you have also contact region. And uh, I hide this body. I need to see the turbine surface. Click this, and then you click Control A. That is to select all the face. After you select all the face, you deselect this. Deselect this, and deselect this. Okay, then you are actually selecting all the surface on the turbine. You create named selection, then you call it a turbine wall. Okay, now this is turbine wall. You can't see it because it's inside. If you collect this frontal surface, you hide this surface. This is a turbine wall. You can see it's pointing here. This is a turbine wall. Now we have inlet, outlet, side boundaries, and turbine wall, and this is a contact region. And uh, now I just generated the mesh directly. If I choose selection plane, cut it, and spin it, you can see the mesh inside. Okay, around the turbine, the mesh is uh, relatively den denser, and. Uh, if we want to do proper simulation, you need to create some inflations around the turbine surface and increase the accuracy. And that would cause a lot of calculation time. And today I only want to show how we are going to simulate the turbine flow. I want to show the procedure instead of spending a lot of time doing calculation. So I just accept this mesh today. 
I finish the mansion. And then I save this project. After I save it, I go to this workbench, update mesh. Oh, I go to setup. I can display mesh after reading. And I choose four process. Start it. Okay, in general part, I choose transient flow. Must be transient flow because turbine is rotating. Models. So I just use SSTK Omega model. Materials, fluid, it is air and central zone conditions. So this inner part, if you double click it, it is air. Outer part, it is also air. But I said that inner zone will be rotating together with the turbine. I double click inner zone again. Here, you need to choose mesh motion. So the, the whole inner zone is rotating. If it's rotating, rotation x direction, it is rotate along z axis. So this is correct. And it is rotating along z axis. Then what is the speed? Okay. So turbine is rotating with a speed, uh, radius per second. I don't want to choose radius per second. I want to choose RPM. Then in units part, you find out rotational angular velocity. And then you choose RPI, and then you close. And here become RPI. I choose 100, 200 RPI. Okay. Then the center part is actually rotating. And OK. Boundary conditions, I double click it. So inlet it is velocity inlet i need to give it a velocity so velocity is in meter per second i give it a 20 meter per second okay and the turbine wall it is wall boundary you look at type here so it's, it's stationary wall it is not slip and standard so that is correct. Now, side boundaries. You can make it a stationary wall, okay? An outlet, it is pressure outlet. You will edit it. It is zero pressure. And now, I have set up the boundary conditions. I initiate 
initialize the simulation. Initialize. Uh, I, I choose hybrid initialization and initialize it. Yeah. I go to report definitions. I want to find out what is the torque on the turbine. Then I create new false report. Moment, I choose turbine wall. And I say this is and the moment along that axis, I create it. And then monitors, uh, I want to report plot new moment turbine. And this I call it turbine talk. Okay, close, close. Now I start running calculations and uh, I want to run 50 steps and the time step is 0 0.01 and uh, I don't change other things. 50 steps, I run, maybe one, I run for 100 steps, time step is 0 0.01, and then I click calculate. I'm totally, I'm going to run 100 steps. Each step is 20 iterations. So totally I need 2000 iterations. And it may need to have maybe one hour to do the calculation. My computer is slow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to Now calculation has been completed. Click OK. Then let me have a look on the talk. So see the talk is actually changing. But at the last step, it doesn't change too much. It is about 0 0.175. Now we look at the flow around the uh, around the turbine. Look at the pass lines. Okay. You, I want to show pass lines started from turbine and have a look.
and uh, I rotate it. So this is the path lines just around the turbine. And uh, if you use zero, it is too dense, so you can skip 20 and use less line numbers. Now you have a look on these path lines. You have a very good uh, visualization of flow around the turbine. Okay. Now I want to do some animations. I want to animate the flow around turbine. I just use this path line as the target of animation. To do that, in this calculation activities here, simulation animation, solution animations, I create an animation and I use path line as animation target. Then I click OK. You see, you, I have animation target. To do the animation, I need to run some more calculations. I click run calculations. Then I choose, I only run 40 steps. And then I calculate. Okay. Now I will continue run the simulation for another 40 steps. Once the calculation was finished, I can do animation. So after every steps, path line will be updated here. Yeah. It's updated. Now I'm going to pause my recording. After the calculation was finished, I will come back. Now 40 steps has been completed. I click OK. Now we look at the animation. We can go to animation and click play back. And then if I want to show detailed view near the turbine, like this, I use start view and play it. <coughs> I play it again. Now you can see the animation of the wind turbine rotating and the flow behind it. We finish the simulation. In this simulation, I didn't use very dense mesh. So we get the torque. Okay. And uh, also we get the, some uh, the flow around the turbines. Uh, but uh, if you want to improve the accuracy of the solution, you may need to increase the density around the turbine and behind the turbine. And then you will have a better solution. Now I finished this recording.